Hey guys, it's me again. Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the video, since you clicked on it, it is... <clears throat> oh gosh. It's the first out of many makeup tutorials for this upcoming Valentine's Day. Super excited for this makeup tutorial because I'm going to be using ColourPop Cosmetics. This is also a review video for ColourPop Cosmetics. First, I'm going to be doing the makeup on my face. And at the end of the video, I will be giving a nice review on their Super Shock Metallic Eyeshadow. I also ordered two Ultra Matte Lips from ColourPop Cosmetics, but those will be in another Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. Right now, we're just going to be paying attention to Bay. No, this is actually called Bay. The, the eyeshadow is called Bay. Let's check out if the tips and tricks really lived up to their potential. Let's get started. First thing I'm going to do before applying the metallic eyeshadow is prime the lids of my eye. I'm going to be taking my Naked Basic palette and I'm going to be taking the lightest brown in the shades and I'm going to be putting it all over my eyes. Taking some tape, I'm going to be putting it underneath the bottom lashes and this is going to help prevent from the metallic eyeshadow from getting anywhere else besides your lids. It helps create that really defined line. Now here comes the fun part. I'm going to be taking the metallic eyeshadow from ColourPop Cosmetics and I'm going to take my ring finger and taking the product on the tip of my finger, I'm going to be placing it all over the lids of my eyes. Now I'm going to be using my blending brush and blending it in a windshield wiper motion all over my crease. Then repeating the same step to the other eye. Now this step, if you want to or not, I'm going to be removing the tape underneath my eyes. Next, taking the darkest shade in the Naked Basic palette, which is the dark brown, I'm going to be putting it all in my inner corner to make it look like a nice fading. I'm going to be taking the lightest color of the, palette, of the Naked Basic palette, the shimmery one, and I'm going to be putting it all over my brow bone. Like I said before, we are going to be winging out this look. This look goes great with or without liquid liner. But the reason why I'm using liquid liner is because I want to make this look incredibly intense for you and your Valentine date. And now adding some mascara to this look. My favorite mascara is the Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced. Now I'm just gonna be covering up underneath my eyes for any fallouts. I'm gonna be taking the concealer and I'm gonna be putting it under my eye. And then I'm going to be taking some powder, I'm going to be mattifying it all. taking this lipstick color that matches the same color as my lips because you want the whole look to be concentrating on your eyes 
not on the boldness of your lips, if you get me. And that's the final look. All right, this was the final look, guys. Now let's give this eyeshadow our review. I'm gonna be reading the tips and tricks that came with the product. Let's see if the tips lived up to their potential. All right, for max coverage, use your fingertip and tap shadow onto the lids. That tip was absolutely correct. When I used my fingertip as a brush to put on the lids of my eye, it got on the eyelids so smoothly. It was incredibly pigmented, it was creamy, it was perfect. To blend, use a fluffy brush that has good movement. Dip tip of the brush into the shadow and apply with a windshield wiper movement throughout the crease of the eye. That tip wasn't correct, if I may say. When I used my blending brush, it didn't blend a little bit, but not as much. So if you do have the eyeshadow and you are wanting to blend into the crease, I recommend doing it really fast, because this sucker dries up very quickly. And the final one, when finished, close the sucker up tight. Don't leave the jar open for a long period of time. You may lose some of the magic that makes the Super Shock Shadow so amazing. That is true. When I constantly opened it and having to put on my finger and then quickly closing it was a hassle. And then having it on my fingertips, it dried very quickly. But yet, when you first get it onto your finger, it feels creamy. So I'm gonna rate this sucker from one to 10, mm, a 7.5. And that's it, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, prove it by giving a thumbs up and make sure you leave a comment down below telling me what you want to see next. There will be another upcoming video testing out these two ColourPop Cosmetics matte lipsticks. All the products that I use will be listed down below. And yeah, see you guys on my next video. Peace, love you, bye. Hope you and your Valentine's Day enjoy this awesome makeup look. Okay. <laughs>